MTV insists that our viewers do not send in any home footage of themselves or others attempting stunts. We will not open or view any submissions, so don't waste your time. The following stories are real. They contain no recreations or dramatizations. The footage was captured on video by the people involved. Do not attempt these bone-crunching, skin-splitting stunts under any circumstances. They can cause serious injury or leave you permanently scarred. Tonight on Scarred, oh God. <laughs> we got massive wipeouts oh. and busted bodies. Oh, busted up there. And we're counting them down from bad Wake up, buddy. to ridiculous oh, to the most f***ed up clip of the day. So stick around as we bring the pain. Skateboarding is a lot of fun. But when the doctors at your local hospital know you by name, you got problems. This is number five. Hey, this is Jared Hester. This is my good side from Portland, Oregon. And this is my scar story. I've been skateboarding for close to 16 years. I've broken my right ankle three times, these three fingers, several concussions, shattered this elbow, seven hours of surgery, titanium plate, eight screws. People say, oh, you should quit, you know, can't afford to keep getting hurt. But when you do something for so long, it's just not something you can just kind of throw away or give up. It was just a day, get the homies together, oh, yeah. go on what we call the skate park tour. Just go from one bad skate park to another bad skate park. Decided we are going to go to one of the worst skate parks ever. That's about as big as my backyard. Woo! Started filming. Everybody was doing tricks. You know, me, I'm just sitting there, always behind the lens, never in front of it. It's like, oh man, dude, I've been behind the camera all day. Everybody's got tricks but me. I got to get something. Started trying to get this one trick. Basically, you go up, you turn 90 degrees, and then you turn 90 degrees back. It's a trick I've done a million times. One of my favorite tricks to do. I was getting really close, really, really close. Nobody's so good that, you know, everything's first try. I just hit with so much force. I didn't even have time to react. The transition wasn't designed very well. It went on a straight flat, and then it hit a little kink and went up. As I came back, I hit that little kink, threw my weight off, just slingshot straight to the ground. All my weight went straight onto my forearm, kind of like high five in the pavement. My buddy Alan was like, you your arm again. And then my friend Alex was just screaming, Hospital time! Let's go! Doctor peeked his head in through the door, pulls up my x ray and says, You broke it! My bone had shattered into five different pieces. Well, the scar I was left with is seven inch incision. Underneath it, I've got a titanium plate with six screws. Got two vampire holes, two titanium rods in my wrist holding it together, two metal hooks just sticking out of them, and then sealed it up with 28 stitches. My left arm is just kind of messed up now. Still don't have all the movement back. My arm is just constantly hurting. Hard to sleep at night. The doctors say, you know, you shouldn't do this ever again. next kid got hurt while attending church camp. He should have prayed he wouldn't bust his ass. This is number four. I'm Preston Davis from Van Buren, Arkansas. 
That's my scar story. Oh, oh God! Ah. I started to go into shock. <laughs> There's about a whole week where I just don't remember anything. It just feels like a weird dream. We were just out with a bunch of guys from my church, youth group. We were just hanging out down this guy's land. We went out on a boat, flipped the boat. Oh, hey, boy. I told you not to turn the boat over. One of the adults got kind of mad. We just had bikes out there and wanted to have some fun. There was a big dirt pile out there right next to where we were camped. Uh, apparently, I just thought it'd be fun to try and ramp it. I probably hadn't ridden a bike in like seven or eight months. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, crap. I was just flying down this hill. Oh gosh! I realized before I got to the dirt pile, ah! something bad's gonna happen. Oh god! Ah! Oh! Oh, my god. I think I might have maybe tried to stop, but I hit the front brake or something. Oh god! Ah! Oh! oh my god. Did you get that on camera? I filmed the uh, the accident, and it seemed like a good idea until about halfway down, and then he started freaking out. He didn't know what he was doing. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh! I went up in the air, and somehow my feet just kind of went up above my head, and I landed on my face. Oh! Everybody else thought it was hilarious until they realized I wasn't moving. Oh, gosh. Ah! I was unconscious for about 20 minutes, I said. Didn't think he hurt himself whenever he landed. We walked over. Hey, Preston, Preston. Didn't move at all. I had a concussion, so when I came to, I was just laying on the ground on my face, coughing up blood. <laughs> we were all asking him what day it is, didn't know the date or anything. Apparently, I just hit with enough force. Gravel and stuff just tore my skin apart and ambulance came and got me. I got pictures from the ER and the entire side of my face is scabbed over. It's pretty nasty. I got this one scar right here. And it kind of comes down right there and into my lip. And uh, I got one on the inside of my uh, lower lip where I bit through. You can kind of see some scratches on the side of my face. I remember picking out pieces of gravel out of my skin like a couple weeks later. Not good at all. Oh God. Ah! When I see the videotape, I just think, what was I thinking, you know? I normally wouldn't do something like that. It's just me being stupid, I guess. Oh God. I'm probably gonna be the first person on this show who was screaming before I got hurt. Ah! Oh God. Oh! It's good to have your friends around when you bust your ass. Who else is going to ask stupid questions like, dude, are you okay? This is number three. Hey, I'm Matt Plasman. I'm from PBD, Massachusetts. And this is my ska store. Matt, wake up, buddy. I started riding about eight years ago or so. I started at the BMX track down the road. Ever since then, I just kept on doing it. I basically heard people talking around, like, go to, like, different skate parks. And they talk about this thing called bone death. Are you ready to bone death the out of this? It's basically... What the? Someone took, like, a lumber yard, cut it up, and then made a skate park out of it. It's kind of stuff you see at the end of, like, Mad Max or something. They make the ramps. Like, I don't even know how they build them. See someone hit it. And if it holds enough, like you, you go at it. It's not really about landing tricks as much as just landing. Period. You gotta be careful. They kept on asking me to try and hit these two huge jumps that they made. I probably knew from the very start after I was pedaling at it that like it was like really way too big. Oh, no! Oh, no! Everyone's chanting like bone death. I basically rode as fast as I could, jumped it, didn't go anywhere, really bailed. Tried it another time. Yo, Matt, you alright? Nice Didn't expect to land on my head. 
once you bounce, like you feel like your head like just like gone. And then, I don't know what happened after that. Yo, Matt, you alright? Yeah. He's out. Matt, wake up, buddy. Oh, somebody's gonna call. Hey. People weren't sure if I was okay after that because I'm just like breathing really heavy. It's kind of scary. The ambulance came, wheeled me off to the hospital, and took some x-rays, did a CAT scan. Straight up concussion. But my neck didn't break, or like anything for that matter, that was close to my spinal cord. I just got like one of my nine lives taken off, you know? Basically like a, a bad wake up call, and then you're not really awake, so it's kind of like a reverse wake up call. If I was to try and like do something similar to that again, I'd probably throw on a helmet. It's not very safe to jump off something like that. Almost every rider around here has seen it online. They look at me like I'm a different, like, like I'm not even human. Oh my god, you're still breathing. When it's rollerblader versus handrail, my money's always on handrail. This is number two. I'm Dustin DeRosa from Elginac, Michigan. And this is my scar story. I've been skating for over 10 years. I thought I was invincible. Oh! The day of the accident, me and a couple of my buddies are skating the Ann Arbor Stadium, and I've never done it before. You can see two big handrails and a big stair set. My buddy Don, he laces a tight trick. It got me all juiced up and made me want to do something. And I didn't want to do like the same thing he was doing. I tried to like switch it up a little bit. But what I wanted to do was grind down half of the rail, jump over a rail, and then kind of jump out to another rail and do a trick down that. I got the first part down pat. And the second part, it kind of scared me a little bit because I had to jump out to it. I didn't want to hurt myself. It took me a few tries to get up the balls and do it. I missed it maybe two or three times. The second or third try, I locked it perfect. It was just a freak accident. It wasn't anything I did, well, besides jumping on the rail. After I lock on the trick, I'm feeling great. I'm thinking I'm gonna lace this trick, it's gonna look really tight. And when, as I go to jump off, the rail breaks. The rail broke from the bracket that holds it to the ledge. It kinda comes up like a hook, and there's a big, sharp piece of metal that was attached to the bracket. And that's what caught me in my shin chipping the shin bone and tore a good half of my calf muscle off. Just ripped out the side of my leg. It's just gone. Don't remember hitting the ground at all. Oh. Next thing I know, I'm holding my leg and watching a bunch of blood come gushing out the side with it all hanging off. The pain was so bad that I went into shock. The guy who was filming me turned off the camera real quick, tied a dirty sock around it, and went to the hospital. The doctors cut away all the dead flesh and make sure there's no debris in there. There was so much of my muscle missing, it almost looks like the, my leg was completely cut off and they just sewed it right back up together. They cut my leg up the back this way, put a skin graft in right here, took the back of my calf and moved it down. So basically the back part of my calf is in the front of my shin. I have thought about going back to do that rail. But after being hurt like that, it gives you a different perspective. I think about it and I'm like, oh, I can really get hurt doing this. Most of the times, I listen to that instinct. Because oh. I don't ever want to have anything that bad happen to me again. So we've put you through some pretty rough stuff. But before we take it up a notch, let's take a look back. Number five. Ah. Number four. Ah. Oh. Number three. Yeah. 
Number two. Oh, Can we top that? No doubt. It's time for the most f***ed up clip of the day. What's up? My name is Chester Blacksmith from Portland, Oregon. I have the most f***ed up clip of the day. Is it bleeding? <laughs> Woke up that morning like a normal day. We're gonna go out and ride. There's this railing. It's about 12 stairs. A wall made out of railroad ties. It's kind of slanted. You can ride on it if you jump to it. I've seen that spot 100 times. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I was just looking at it. Just testing my speed and seeing what angle I wanted to jump at it. It was a big trick, and I really wanted to, you know, maybe push it a little bit. Pedaled real fast. I bunny hopped at it, jumped over, landed on the wall. I just I knew I, if I could get the speed right, then I would I could do it perfect. I knew exactly when it wasn't going as planned, right when my foot started to come off the pedal. I put my foot down, it just stuck where it landed. I felt the snap, I just collapsed. Picked up my leg, back of my heel, touched my thigh. Paramedics arrived. Is it bleeding? I kind of was like, oh, this is a little more serious than just a break. Paramedic said, you know, it's a compound fracture. Put enough pressure as a head-on collision at 40 miles an hour into my leg. Spit the bone right out of the front of my leg. I didn't actually see it until I was in the hospital. I was like, that's not good. I've never actually seen one of my bones before. They have to like hold my limp foot, this broken half, together while they shoot x-rays. I found that I've shattered pretty much my tibia and my fib. This is where the bone came out of my leg right here. It snapped right here. And they had to pull the skin here and here and then stitch it back together. That's my leg now. Not cool. Definitely won't do that again. That one is probably maybe a little bit out of my reach. And that was the most f***ed up clip of the day. Next time on Scarred. The pain is something I've never felt before. Oh my god, my balls! When I took off, the trick felt fine, and then... It was like a shot of lightning went through my body. Where's the f***ing hospital? the air a backflip? I was 35 to 45 feet in the air, looking straight down at the ground going, oh, f***. No, touch goes down!